we've got going on with the cloud. Okay. So, okay, good. I've got it recording and I've got it live on Facebook. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Man, now that we're two minutes into this and I'm finally figuring out how all this goes. Okay. All right. So, should I just like start? What does Rose normally do for our housekeeping stuff? Normally, she says that when you join our Zoom link, that it's preset to have your video and microphone off because we do post these to YouTube and we don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable by having your face or voice recorded if you don't want that. Um, what else does Rose say? She says that if you're watching live, you need to post it in the comments because we check our comments frequently. Um, I don't know how to do the prize wheel though. I, I don't think we're going to mess with that this week. We'll, we'll do double prizes next week. Um, yes. I don't even remember whose turn it is for the prize wheel this week. It might be me. We have to check that. Or it could, or it could be me. <laughs> we have to check in our group. Okay. <laughs> of all the nights for me to not get home till 736, I, I got home and I'm like, oh my word, all these messages. Okay, so Janelle will be joining us momentarily. Rose is taking the evening off. She needs some personal R&R time. So it's mm -hmm. Anne and I for now, and then Janelle will join us. Um, I think that's everything, right? That's all the housekeeping stuff. Mm hmm Okay. Rose has, like, nice notes and everything. I'm, I'm like, just winging it. Do you want to go first, Anne, for what we're, what you want to present this week? Um, well, if, if you wouldn't mind going first. <laughs> Janelle's supposed to go first. I'm, like, trying to find my notes. I know. I know. Oh. We're, we're all, and that way we can just kind of tag team. Sounds good. It's going to be well, really laid back tonight. Right? Tonight's just like the hectic night. You get to see us in all of our flusteredness. Um, so I know one of the things we wanted to talk about was to do a little bit of catch up from last week because last week we talked about the simple swaps. Um, we each shared something that we've swapped out of our home um, to get rid of the toxins, but we didn't really talk about why we swapped them out for the toxins. Um, if you're new to going chemical free, you might be like, wow, that's a lot of DIY stuff. That's a lot of dilution. That's a lot of, that seems like a lot of work when I could just go to Walmart and get Windex or laundry detergent for three bucks a bottle. So like when I first started going toxin free, it was overwhelming. And I, I thought you had to do like all the DIY stuff. I didn't realize that you can, you can just use the thieves laundry detergent, like just pour it from the bottle. You don't have to get all the fancy pumpers, all that, like all that kind of stuff is just, if you're trying to pinch a few pennies, if you're trying to make it go a little further, but you can, like you can, if you're in a rush or you don't want to pack a bunch of stuff because you're going camping, you can just take the thieves laundry detergent and dump it. you can just take your bottle of these household cleaner. But we wanted to go back and talk about why we switched out those specific chemicals in our home. So last week I had glass cleaner. Um, so I talked about doing the citrus fresh and super diluting the thieves household cleaner and then doing it with water. So the glass cleaner you typically switch out is Windex, right? Like that's normally what we use on our mirrors and, and windows and all that kind of stuff. So um, why swap out Windex? Um, the biggest reason is because it's super harmful to your respiratory system. It even says right on the bottle that it can cause eye, skin, and lung irritations, and it should not be inhaled. And I'm like, really? Why? Okay. So you spray it, and then you, like, put your face up to the glass. So that was one thing I switched out because it does do a lot for your respiratory system. If you're known to have asthma or chronic bronchitis or those kinds of things, you'll notice that using Windex will flare that up. And it says right on the bottle that it can, um, it, is it on the bottle or is it on the website? I think it's on the website, I looked it up, that it can exa exacerbate um, resp known respiratory issues, such as <laughs> asthma and bronchitis. It says that right on their website. Um, it's also known to cause headaches and migraines because of the chemical smell that's in there. Also, anything with a blue dye like that, um, A, I hate anything with blue dyes that looks like Kool-Aid because of my little girls. 
they love Kool-Aid. They want to drink that stuff. So having that in your cabinet where it's like, ooh, that looks like Kool-Aid or the yellow bottles of stuff, ooh, that looks like lemonade, not, not good to have around kids. Um, but anything with those blue dyes are going to be dangerous on your skin. Um, just look up some of the dangers of red dye 40 or blue dye 2 or, you know, like those kind of dangers. Look those up. They're, they're pretty nasty. Um, even in your food, like red dye 40 in food is known to worsen autism. I learned that a couple weeks ago. So check your food labels as well as your chemical cleaners. But I digress. We're talking about chemical cleaners this evening. So that was Windex for last week. Um, and then do you want to backtrack for last week, Ann, or do you want me to talk about this week's stuff? Sure. Nope. I can go ahead and backtrack and then I'll, I'll flip it back to you. Um, so I, last week I had talked about um, like um, multi-surface cleaner. Um, again, using the um, these household cleaner and why I switched things out. Um, for me personally, I switched um, to a, a more non-chemical um, based household cleaner because um, not number one, I wanted my air cleaner, but the the biggest part was I myself was having some some health issues. And so I was willing to eliminate, you know, just through trial and error, eliminate some of the things that were in my home. Um, so if I look at, you know, things like, um, you know, you've got your, your 409 spray, you've got your fantastic, you've got all of those things. And on it, it says, keep out of reach of children. Well, I have grandkids, um, I'm a nanny full time, you know, so I'm thinking, okay, if they shouldn't be touching this, why would I want to spray this into the air? So I did some research um, a few years ago, actually, and I found that, ooh, these things are not, not very good for, again, respiratory system, you don't really, you don't want to get in your eyes, you don't want to, you know, and it's just, for my own peace of mind, I did some research and I, I came across um, Young Living. And I was like, hmm. And so I myself was kind of the guinea pig on, you know, like, okay, so how, how are essential oils going to help? What other products does Young Living have? Um, these household cleaner. Okay, so how do you use that? type of thing. So that's where I started. And then we, I expanded from there to, to kind of stretch my dollar a little bit, finding that Young Living's products are very concentrated. So I was like, well, this is cool. So in the long run, you're actually saving, saving yourself money. You're actually saving um, for, on your health. And you're saving the, really the biggest thing for me is saving that <laughs> that possibility of finding one of the small children getting into something they're not supposed to, okay? Because some, how, how many times have we just left something sitting on the counter or, you know, oh, I'll get back to it. And then before we know it, that little, that little kid has got, gotten it in their hands and they've obviously almost got it to their mouths. And, yep. you know, so I would much rather use something that, you know what, if they get, they get it on their hands. It's not going to harm them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where I was coming from. It wasn't like, you know, I, I just really felt strongly about, gee, you know, we probably shouldn't have these harmful things down where little kids are, even pets, even where pets are, um, you know, because their, <laughs> their sense of smell is so much greater than ours and can you imagine what it does to them you know so. wasn't the main reason you switched your toilet bowl cleaner because pearl drinks out of the toilet um well she she likes to check out you know so I see what's going on so <laughs> you know what i'm not going to take any chances with you so you know because there was one time um she decided to eat a, a leaf of a plant that i had that actually 
is poisonous to dogs. So we had to take her to the vet because her eyes were swollen shut. <laughs> yeah. No. So that's so not good. <laughs> prompted me to say, you know, I should probably make sure. Probably. <laughs> if by chance she happens to, you know, I've sprayed the toilet bowl or whatever, that it's not a big deal if she licks it, you know, uh, with the thief's household cleaner. So, so yeah, so that's my. You know, like again, you don't have to do all the fancy things like I mentioned, like you know, adding this oil, adding that oil. You can just you can just use it. Um, it's easy, and you get actually more bang for your buck because right. it is concentrated. <laughs> adding the other oils, I think. I mean, lemon adds the extra degreasing. When my windows have a lot of fingerprints on them, I add the lemon. But aside from that, most often for glass cleaner, because I talked about that last week. Most often, it really is just the thieves and then a 1 to 75 ratio um, with water. And that's because it's super easy and holy cow, do you get the bang for your buck. Because when, you, yeah. when you delete it, dilute it 1 to 30, which is the normal, not the heavy degreasing, but the normal degreasing, it's what, what did we calculate it as? 126, a, a buck 26 a bottle? Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, half again of that half, half and something, because it's down to 75. So what is it? 42. I'm not a math whiz. 42 cents a bottle for my mm -hmm. glass cleaner. That's, mm -hmm. that's way cheaper than Windex. Oh, for sure. <laughs> way cheaper than Windex. So uh, for no other reason than saving money, I think Young Living is totally worth it. It's mm -hmm. cut down on our grocery bill. It's cut down on all that kind of stuff. And like you were saying about saving money with like medical stuff. I mean, Luke and I go to the doctor for our annual insurance checkups because we have mm -hmm. to do an annual physical for our insurance. Aside from that, I don't think Luke or I have been to the doctor in three years. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and we used to go probably four times a year pre young living. So I mean saving money on medical expenses too. Again, for FDA, I'm not saying young living cures anything. But right. I'm saying like for immune support, that that fact alone for our family would prove that there's immune support with young living stuff. Yes. I would I would I would agree. Too. Yeah, it's it's rare that, you know, I other than just regular annual checkups. Um, that I have to go to the doctor, yep. um, you know, and, you know, I think just, you know, just having that stronger immune system, you know, being proactive, right, uh, right, waiting until something happens. And then, you know, um, so I think that that plays a, a really big part. And, you know, you were talking about, you know, the, the glass cleaner that, you know, is full of all the yuck. What, think about think about little kids. What do they do to glass? What do they do? They go up and they kiss it and they lick it and oh, you yeah. know, like a little like, like nose thing. Like, yeah, I'm like ew, that's gross. You know, yeah. I'd much rather you know what I do now is I I clean it just with the diluted down these household cleaner because I know like the next day there's going to be fingerprints and there's yep. going to be <laughs> yep. you know, but I have a good like. I'm confident in the fact that you know what, they're okay. Um, yeah, you know they're they're not harmed. It smells good. Um, you know, it, so it's a win-win. Yeah, win -win way around. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay, so that talks about kind of last week's stuff. Do we want to talk about this week's stuff? Sure. Okay. All right. So I can go for this week. So this week I picked um, dryer sheets because that's a simple swap that um, I've done. So the reason I switched off of like the balance or the downy or whatever fabric softener dryer sheets, um, I found something that sums it up really, really well and gives good facts. According to the Health and Wellness Center, some of the most harmful ingredients in dryer sheets and liquid fabric softener alike include benzyl acetate, which is linked to pancreatic cancer, benzyl alcohol, which is an upper respiratory tract irritant, 
ethanol, which is linked to central nervous system disorders. Your central nervous system is like your brain and all your nerves running down your spine. Your central nervous system literally controls your entire body. So anything that tells me that it's linked to a central nervous system disorder is a major red flag. I mean, anything for your respiratory system is bad too, but seriously, central nervous system, you don't want to mess with that. Um, they also contain limonene, which is a known carcinogen. Carcinogens are cancer-causing chemicals, if, if you don't know what a carcinogen is. And chloroform, mm. which is a neurotoxin and a carcinogen, among other chemicals. So, like, all of those are within your Walmart, Target, big box store dryer sheets and fabric softeners and the liquid fabric softeners. And uh, next week, I'll be talking a little bit about, like, laundry scent boosters and the liquid fabric softeners. I'll talk about those next week. And that should, I think I'm also talking about bleach next week, because um, that'll finish off the laundry room for us. But um, this week, I just picked dryer sheets. So for dryer sheets, to switch that out, I got wool dryer balls. Um, I love my Norwex ladies. I fully support them and their businesses. My first set of dryer balls I did get from Norwex and they were good. I noticed that they started falling apart a little bit. So then I got a box of 12 of them from Amazon. It was way cheaper than Norwex. The quality has been great. I put six to nine of these in my dryer at a time. Um, just because having those in there and bouncing around and aerating your clothes, it decreases the amount of dry time, it decreases the static, and it helps your clothes get nice and fluffy and soft. Um, so um, I do love Norwex, and I will not buy Enviro claws or cleaning claws or polishing claws from anybody else besides my Norwex gals because I cannot say enough about those. Dryer balls, while I did support Norwex, um, if you're tight on money, you can just get them from Amazon. And if you need a link to that, let me know. Um, the ones I found on Amazon are like organic and I think they're from Ireland or something like that. So they're hundred percent wool and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and with 12 of them in your box, you can keep half and share half with your mom or your best friend or something. There's, there's plenty of them in there. So, um, that's what I use. I use wool dryer balls. Um, like I said, six to nine of them, depending upon what's in the load. Jeans get nine because mm -hmm. they need a little extra love. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I can scent these. They typically hold oils, again, depending upon what kind of laundry you're doing. If I'm doing kitchen towels, the towels, because they're all like fabric-y and soft, they absorb more smell off of them. So then I have to put more oils on them a little more frequently. Stuff like jeans don't really absorb the oils as fast. Um, so when I'm doing bedding, I'll put like lavender or peace and calming or gentle baby. I'll put some drops on there, like one to five drops per bowl, depending upon how well you want it sent in. Um, and then like our clothes, I'll do joy if it's like my type of clothes. If the load is primarily Luke's clothes, I'll do something more like manly northern lights black spruce and orange or cedar wood or pine or evergreen essence i'll do more manly stuff for luke's work clothes um kitchen towels pretty much always citrus fresh because i love citrus fresh in my kitchen um this time of year for clothes that we wear outside like winter coats and scarves and hats i'll do with thieves just again for that little bit of um, immune boosting, that kind of stuff. I think we lost Anne, like, just as I'm wrapping up here, I think Anne is gone. <laughs> so, uh, I can keep talking about, oh, there she is, oh, good. I'm like, oh, no, I'm like basically done talking about dryer balls and Anne abandoned me. I'm ditched. <laughs> I would never abandon you. Thank you. <laughs> Talk about us like do I go into my bleach? Like I can look oh, up my accident. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I had like to... start juggling here or something. Like, ooh, look at my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay, <laughs> my turn. So I'm gonna still go off of um, you know, my 
I, I guess I'm just so passionate about making sure that little people, my little people that I nanny for, stay as safe as possible in my care. So therefore, I'm slowly um, introducing different things within their household, um, you know, samples and, you know, samples of hand soap and, and all of those types of things. And um, how many, how many of us in the past have had like room freshener sprays? Okay, so there's a lot of that. Um, and, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, you know, it's just because people don't know. They, they, they honestly don't know the dangers of those sprays that you can get at Walmart. And what people also don't know is that, again, you can save yourself really a ton of money um, because you can get these little bottles. There's a whole bunch of different sizes. There's two ounce and four ounce and six ounce and eight ounce bottles, depending on what, you, what you're doing. Um, and you can actually change out the scent that you want to spray in your room, your desired room. You know, so I, I keep a couple of these in the bathroom. I keep a couple of these, you know, like in the laundry room. Um, that's, a, that's a good spot to keep it. Um, and, you know, so fall, you know, is definitely upon us. It's decided to, you know, be a little more cold than it was last week for me. Um, and so, you know, my favorite is anything, you know, fall spice, you know, put together like cinnamon and nutmeg and, and orange and, and all of those things. And it just smells so, so good. And all I do is I just I put the essential oils in, I put in some distilled water, a little witch hazel, if I have it, if I don't have it, it's not a big deal. Um, and then you have these fancy little sprays for your room that you can just quickly freshen up your room and you don't have to worry about all the ick, Sorry. ick that other stuff. Um, you know, and, and again, you know, I mean, obviously these, these are glass, so I mean, you wanna keep these up out of, out of the reach of small children, but, um, my my thing is, you know, they're not ingesting bad chemicals into their little respiratory systems. You know, they're smelling good stuff. And um, the little guy that I, the two and a half year old, he comes up to me every morning and he sniffs my neck because I put essential oils on my neck and he, and then he'll, oh, oils. Um, so that's really special that he loves the smell of my oils. So, so that's my little two cents worth. I love using linen sprays. So I'm in our guest room downstairs mm -hmm. and our basement floods anytime we get more than an inch of rain, not the whole basement, but like just that section. So our basement always smells damp and like musky I guess so I love using linen sprays here in the guest room because we've got a nice little love seat and we've got like one of those old school uh, not recliner chairs but like the book chairs and we've got my office chair down here and we've got obviously the guest bed um, so like it's a lot of linens down here and they all just absorb that damp musky smell so anytime we have guests coming I run two diffusers in here, but I also love, love, love what you're talking about with the linen sprays, because I used to use Febreze in my guest room, and Febreze, holy cow, does that have a lot of chemicals. Wow. Um, <clears throat> and it does nothing to support any system of your body. So I love, love, love the linen sprays that you're talking about, and the fall ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the fall ones. <laughs> For sure, for sure, it's my absolute favorite. Summertime, I do a little bit more citrusy mm -hmm. type scents just because it's summertime, and you know. Um, and then winter, winter is more of the 
Northern Lights, Black Spruce, you know, that type of. Or, or Christmas even, Spirit. Christmas Spirit. Come on. Yeah, that's that's like one of my I, I diffused that one all year long. <laughs> um, so For sure was going to be the first one you went to. <laughs> it's just, you know, it, it's, I just love being able just to have something handy that's inexpensive and you can just keep, ma you know, it doesn't take much to make it. Um, that's the thing. It doesn't take much. Um, and, and you can give it away as gifts. Oh yeah. Exactly. I think I did that two years ago for Christmas and everyone asked me for the recipes and they wanted to make their own. <laughs> so it's awesome. I love it. We should talk about one of these weeks. We should talk about poopery spray. Um, oh. It's almost the same recipe as land spray, but you spray it in your toilet before you go. I feel like the week we do that, we need to play one of the poopery commercials, though, because, man, are those a hoot. <laughs> those are just a riot. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> <laughs> we have kept this lively tonight, haven't we, Tessa? We, have. we certainly have. <laughs> All right, so I think <laughs> that weird little clicking sound a little earlier was me trying a, we, I don't know what program Rose uses, but I found wheelofnames.com. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I can see that Wendy and Emily and B and Colleen are all watching live. Is anybody else watching live? I'll give you about 10 seconds here to post a comment. And do you have anybody posting comments under yours? Nope. Do you have any Facebook messages of anyone? Nope. Okay. Nope, unfortunately not. That's nope. all right. <laughs> we didn't have enough lead time to like share this in our groups this week. This was kind of like last minute. Quick, log in, let's go. All right. I don't see anybody else posting that they're watching live and no one's messaging me. So let's share screen. Yeah. This one share can you can you see what are you seeing right now yep i can see it okay can we make this bigger can go, whoa okay cool all right let's let's see if there's sound that would be cool ready <laughs> it's the little things <laughs> the little things Wow, it's even clapping. I know, right? We've got like a studio audience. <laughs> I like right, that. Wendy. So, Aunt Wendy, I will get you something in the mail. I'm not sure what, but I will mail you. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, no. Can you still see me? Yeah, I, I can still see you. <laughs> My computer's totally freaking out. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. How do I stop sharing screen? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. This is rough, guys. This is why I don't know. This is why Rose does this. <laughs> we love Rose. <laughs> we love so, Rose. She is so her. our computer person. I do Photoshop. That I am a Photoshop whiz. Zoom, not so much. I am just, I'm still trying to figure out Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, so I think that's all we have for you this week. Aunt Wendy, I'm going to get you something cool in the mail. It'll be awesome, whatever it is. Um, and then we'll do prizes. So that was just for the people who are watching live tonight. And then next week, we'll also catch up anyone who liked or shared the video or uh, watched, live, watched live last week because you get points the next week. We're kind of like skipping that this week. This week's just just a fun. Whoever was watching live gets two entries in the wheel. So, yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome. If anyone has any questions, by all means, mm -hmm. by all means, message Anne or I or Janelle or Rose or whoever you want. Um, if you have any questions about switching out toxic chemicals in your home, please do message us. Um, we do, we had someone message us about um, 
carpet cleaner and upholstery cleaner uh, that was supposed to be covered tonight. We're going to do that one next week. Um, so we do take those questions and we do plan and prep for them and research for them. So um, I think that's it. Next week, same time, same channel. Uh, hopefully a couple more hosts because Ann and I are fun, but I've got no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> and we all we all fall fall into our own little, you know, our own little boxes yep. and what yep. we're good at. And yeah, we, we did, all learn as we go. <laughs> we did just fine, Tessa. <laughs> all right, sounds all right. good. Well, we will see you all next week. See you later. Bye. Bye.